Hi everyone, this is Terry. Have you wondered how you can get a cut file from an applique in PE Design 11 or from any stitch file for that matter into Cricut Design Space? Well, let me show you how you can do it. Obviously, the best option is if you have a digitized file that the digitizer provides you with an SVG file. But if they don't, well, first of all, we'll start out with a basic shape, and I'll show you how to do this. And we'll choose this moon, and we'll draw the, the moon shape. Now, if I hold the shift key while I'm doing this, I'll have a symmetrical moon. So we'll do that. And then the next thing that we want to do is we want to create an applique out of this. So we'll go to Home, and we'll choose the Applique Wizard. And I want to have my Applique material. I do want my tack down. I do want my zigzag stitch, which this is 3.5 millimeters, but in inches it's 0.14. And I want to choose Replace and choose OK. So now I have the Applique. Now what I want to do is to click off of this and I want to select the first object because this is a shape and let's turn this to black on the first object. I don't need the, the rest of the objects but I do want to go to the home tab and while the first object is selected I want to choose copy. And, and by the way if, if you had this as an applique you want to save this, so let's save it first. So we'll do File, Save As, and we'll call it Moon Applique. And it's 3.16 by 3.19. Size is important, and you'll see why in a moment. Now, now we'll choose File, New, and we want to paste. So this is going to be the shape for our cut file. Now what we want to do is we want to go in and open the snipping tool. And if you have Windows, you have a snipping tool. And I'll choose New. And now I'll hold down my left mouse button and drag it around this shape. I happen to have another program that opens anytime I snip an object. It's Snagit Editor. That's not necessary. And we'll close it out. Now what I want to do is I want to do File, Save As, and we'll call this Moon 3.09 by 3.14. And it, like I said, it's, it's important that you save the size because you'll find when you go into Cricut Design Space that your size is going to be changed. So now you see this, possibly this screen. You want to go to New Project. And you want to choose Upload. When you go into Upload, choose Upload Image. You'll browse for your file, and when you saved it a moment ago, you need to know where you saved it. Here it is. This is a PNG file. You can use a JPEG or a PNG. And once it's open, we want to select Moderately com Complex. This is what I've used, and it works, so I'll continue to show it to you that way. Now what I want to do is go to Advanced Operations, and I'll just reduce this to two colors. And I'll also click on the background because I don't want the background. And I'll choose Continue. Now I want to save this as a cut image. And I can give it some tags. I'll call it a moon. And then, I'm actually I'll call it a, yeah, a moon. And then I'll put applique. That way, if I want to search within Cricut Design Space, I can do that. Now, what I need to do is I need to upload that image. So I select it, and you notice it has a green box around it, and I'll choose Insert Image. 
Now I need to resize this. So I want to unlock it and I'll type 3.09 and then go over to the height and change the height to 3.14 and once I've done that it, it doesn't look like I got the 3.14 so let me type it again 3.14 and now you can confirm the size right here 309 you can see that down below because that's PE design and you see the 3.14 now all you have to do is choose make it. If you use this process, I recommend that you do a test sew out. Please don't do something like this on a project until you, you make sure that you have adequate coverage with both the fabric and then also your satin stitch. Now let's look at a purchase design. So I'll open up a design and this particular design is a design by Juju, and it may have been a free file. Again, if the digitizer gives you the SVG file, use it, because you can upload the SVG file in Cricut Design Space. Because this is a stitch file, and we'll select all just so you can see that, you'll see the Stitches tab. We have to do something to this in order to use it. You can go in and divide by color, but in, in the case of this, I found that I could convert this to blocks to get what I want. You may have to divide by color, then convert to blocks. I'll choose convert to blocks and leave the sensitivity in the middle, and I'll choose OK. And now that I've done that, what I'll do is select the first object by clicking off of it, select the first object. And now what I want to do is change the color of this to black. And now I'll choose copy. I'll choose file new. Make sure you don't save and overwrite your design. And save changes to this, I'll say no. And now I'll paste. The rest of this process is the same as it was with the first design where I used the shape because now you have a shape. So make sure you take note of the size of it and again, try a test stitch out. Thanks for your time today. If you like my videos, please like and share. And I do respond to questions. In fact, this was based on a question, I think in Facebook, in the PE Design 11 group. Thanks again.